Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm here with another video. This is going to be a demo review unboxing all in one. So let me just say hello and welcome back to all my new and returning subscriber. For any new re any new viewers, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that button and that button right there so that you're notified of all the videos that I post. Okay, so I am doing a review on this Laguna Moon portable LED nail lamp. It's compact, portable, stylish nail art on the go by Laguna Moon. And as you can see, it has not been opened. I was also sent these two polishes. Well, one's a base coat and one's a top coat. They are 10 milliliters each. And you can see what it says on the back, which is nothing. And in the bottom, base. That's the base. And then this is the top coat. I will be doing a demonstration on how to use this, but first, I wanted to get to opening this up. We'll take a little peek at this and see what this looks like really quick. Which shouldn't be anything special. It's just the base. That's what it looks like. So you see it is still in good condition. And then this is the top coat. I will be using them both. I know you can't tell the difference, but neither can I. But one is a top coat, one is a base coat which is what you need when you're doing, when you're applying gel polish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right now with you all so that we can see what this looks like. I was sent this piece of paper here, which gives inf information on how to apply normal gel polish, temperature changing, etc., etc. All kinds of information here that I can use if I ever want to do any of it. They even offer a video there. I don't know what channel that is. Maybe it's Laguna Moon. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll check it out. All right, so I was sent an email um, to go and check this out. And the link sent me here. So I'm gonna assume it is that one right there. Now on there it says Laguna Moon Nail Gel UV Nail Lamp Nail Dryer with Free Coat Sets Battery Powered. And that would be this. This is what they're talking about with the free uh, coats. And now, this is the part that I don't understand. On here it says it is a UV nail lamp. But on the box, it says it's an LED nail lamp. Now there's a big difference there, if you guys don't know the difference between the two lamps. One is UV, one is LED. You have little LED lights underneath it compared to the, I wish I could have another one here to show you, but I don't have. A UV lamp available to show you. Maybe I will insert a picture of what it looks like inside when you're looking at an LED lamp and when you're looking at a UV light so I can show you the difference. Um, I do own a UV lamp but I have that put away because it's like really big and it's like three times the size of this right here. And I do have an LED lamp but that's put up as well. So I'm going to show you this one here. Again I'm confused because the link says UV, here it says LED. I'm going to go by what it's saying here and you'll also know by the the lights that it has inside whether it is LED or UV. So I'm just going to take this off. This is the unboxing part people. Like this and let's see. I believe I can open it like this. Yep, here we are. They have two colors, black and white, but I believe I was sent the black one. Like that. Comes with a little cushion. Here is the USB. Let's see, it doesn't say it's USB on here. Let's go ahead and continue looking at it. Look at how tiny this is. This is almost the size of my phone. Look at this. The, high, the length of it is the size of my phone. Look at that. The thickness is different though. Okay, so here's the owner manual. This is what the box says. This is what it says in the back. It does say it's a black one. Here it shows you the switch. 30, 60, 90 and there's a DC in. Um, and it's foldable. And there are the specs. It's a 9 watt max LED lamp. LED. <laughs> I don't know why they're saying it's UV. That's kind of confusing, okay? And then here we go. It says non-harmful to eyes. This is their little um, instruction, their packing list. Main body, which is this right here that I'm going to take out of the bag to show you. Here we go. 
little here it is let me put this aside so it doesn't cast any light on me all right the main body which is this and it's really pretty it is black as you can see it has little specks of glitter has the logo LM for Laguna Moon there's a 30 60 and 90 seconds then there's the USB cable I'm going by the packing list right here certificate I don't see a certificate anywhere um, and what else here instructions which is what I'm holding then it gives you the specs and then it says LED operating instructions okay so this is what's gonna power it now on here I think it was on the back of this it said DC in all this is is a USB that's all it is plug this in to the back right here let me see if I'm putting this in right yeah like that plugged in and plug it into your laptop or your computer to charge it up it doesn't say anything about that in here let's see connect via USB to charge the lamp before using okay I haven't done that yet since I just opened it up it says press on off button to turn on the lamp default timer is 30 seconds press on off button again to switch curing time from 30 to 60 to 90 seconds long press on off button to turn off the lamp so you have to actually press the button for a long time to turn the lamp off it will not auto shut off and then over here it says safety warnings please be the instructions carefully before using the lamp please follow the instructions properly keep away from heat and flame and then it gives you here all the product warranty where you can put in and there was no certificate as it states here there was no certificate that came with this unless it's on this packaging which I don't see it's not on this foam thing and it's not in the box okay and then these are other instructions this was sent for these here gel related so this isn't the certificate so that's one thing we don't have is a certificate I don't know how important that is or not I don't think this is going to turn on because I have not charged it but I will open it up and show you what it looks like like this that is what LED lights look like you have them on the sides to get your hands on the sides here and on the top here and then I'm going to flip it over and that's how it would sit you would stick your hand in here you see how wide it is you could put a foot in here but you definitely do only one hand at a time let's see if it turns on I probably have to charge it but I'm going to turn it on anyway so per the instructions is this here press on off button to turn on the lamp and it's not turning on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and charge it and then I will be back to continue this video all right what I went ahead and did was plugged it into my laptop that I have right here and that's how you can tell if it's being charged this little red light comes on again it's plugged in from the back here and the other end is connected to the USB slot on my laptop per the instructions it doesn't really say how long you should have it charged for let's see alright it doesn't say so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there for about 30 minutes and see what happens and then I'll be back to show you guys what's happening here okay alright so it's been quite some time since I first did the first part of this video so I just wanted to show you guys I'd have nothing on my nails because I plan to do this on my own nails and what polish I'm going to be using is this Azure soak off UV LED nail gel polish this is a color changing polish it shows pink but I think it goes clear I don't remember because I did the review on this a while ago so I'm going to be using this and I'm also like I mentioned in the in the beginning I'm going to be using the Laguna Moon base and top coat my nails are pretty much prepared for this I just wanted to turn on the light you see that it's green now meaning that it is 
charged. I still have it plugged in though, just in case, because I want to make sure that my nail is cure and I'm not sure how long the charge will stay, so I want to keep it plugged in. But I wanted to quickly just turn it on for you, for you to see how it looks like. But I'm going to turn off my light first so you can clearly see. So that's with the light off. And that's with uh, the lamp on. That's 30 seconds. Then 60 seconds. And then 90 seconds. And then you press again to turn it off. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my nails with some rubbing alcohol, 95%. I have it in this little spray bottle. That's just to cleanse any oils I may have on my nails because then it really won't adhere. And it's just a habit of mine to do that. And they do, the, the base coat and top coat do have instructions here, and I showed you this in the beginning. Since I'm using a temperature changing gel polish, I'm going to read the instructions for that. Clean nails, then trim nail surface as normal manicure process, which I had done. Shake the bottle to ensure the color is matted thoroughly, or mixed thoroughly is what I believe they're, they're saying, which I have been doing that. And then it says apply base coat first, cure with UV lamp or LED lamp. Now this lamp is a 9 volt, so I'm not even quite sure how long I'm supposed to let it cure. So I'm going to cure it for 90 seconds just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to take my base coat, open it up, and it is just pretty much clear. Oh, one more thing that I like to do is I like to use a dehydrator. Actually, I should have used a primer too, but even though the alcohol is a dehydrator, um, I like to use this just to dry it up even more. This is a gelish mini peach bond. Hopefully, this uh, gel will stay because I'm not using a primer, and I'm so used to using primers when I do gels or acrylics so I'm not going to use one this time I'm going to come in a little bit closer and you just basically apply it like you do nail polish a thin coat so I'm wiping off the excess and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the, the base coat on my nail without touching my skin because if you get it on your skin it's going to cure on your skin and there's a possibility it will burn you. So you have to be super careful. And since it's not going to dry or anything because it is a gel, you have time to take a look at your nail carefully to see if you got any on your skin. And if you got any on your skin, you want to remove it. You also want to go over the end cap of your nail which is the very tip just to ensure that it applies I like to do the sides as well like that and I'm just gonna do it on that one finger and I'm gonna put it in for like I said 90 seconds And we'll just go ahead and speed that up. And as you've seen, the light just turned off on its own, so it does auto turn off. You don't have to worry about going ahead and counting the seconds. It'll turn off on its own. So that should be fully cured. You can see it there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply the color which is this one and according to the instructions since this is the paper that came with the base coat we already did the base coat apply polish and cure with UV lamp or two to three minutes or cure with LED lamp for 30 to 60 seconds I have an LED lamp but it is only a 9 watt so I, I'm doing the 90 seconds just to be on the safe side it does say apply second layer and cure with UV lamp LED again. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first uh, layer 
or the first coat and just see how it looks I may go ahead and do two just to be on the safe side and again you don't want to get a lot on your brush and then we'll just go ahead and polish it and put that coat on there this is a really pretty pink too as you can see it's going on really thin and all I'm seeing is glitter coming off which is strange because it should have color let me add a little bit more yeah it's still kind of like sparse as far as color and I don't want to put too much on there otherwise it's not going to cure so I am just going to go ahead and put that and I'm going to go ahead and just double check to make sure so you got a little bit right there so I'm just going to take it off with my nail because if your nail if you cure it on your skin it's going to burn I, I tell you that much right now okay so we're going to go ahead and do that one for 90 seconds as well one two three and we'll go ahead and speed it up while that cures all right so it stopped I'm thinking that the color isn't showing because this is a temperature changing polish so maybe when my nail has cooled off it will turn pink because as you can see here it's a pink and I did mention that it might show up clear when it's changing color so we're gonna go ahead and put a second coat I did cure that for 90 seconds and that should be enough for it to cure so let's go ahead and proceed with the second coat it is such a pretty color and I will make sure and take a picture or even wait for it to cool off it does recommend or suggest not recommend that if you're not seeing the color changing if you find the color changing is not obviously obviously obvious please try to put nails into warm water and cold water then you will see the amazing color change so here we go another 90 seconds into the lamp and we will fast forward again alrighty so I'm done so that was two coats that I did and now let me close this up so I don't knock it over by accident just gonna let you know what the color number is it is number T38 and this is the Azure I will link this in the description area if you're interested in going to look at it I need to close my base too because I didn't do that earlier and it's a good not, idea not to have your polishes, your gel polishes near your lamp because they were they will cure. All right, so now we go to the top coat. And according to instructions, it says step five: coat with top coat, then cure with UV lamp. Then we'll, we will remove the tacky layer because it will leave a little tacky layer on top of it. And we'll do that after that. So let's go ahead and put a top coat layer. This is going to make it really pretty and shiny. Oh, beautiful. All right. Let's make sure I get the sides. Without getting them on my nails all right so it's gonna go back in for another 90 seconds and I'll speed through that as well all right so we are done with the top coat per instructions remove the tacky surface with cotton soaked with cleanser or 95% alcohol so I'm going to use the this is a lintless it doesn't have any lint so there won't be any left on your nail and I just spray the alcohol and I go over my nail cleaning off the tacky layer 
and there we go we're done and that is beautiful glitter look at that that is so pretty now I need to test and see why it's not changing color I think it needs to cool off so I'm gonna wait a little bit and then we'll give it another look and see if uh, it gotten any darker okay so I went to the bathroom and washed my hands with cold water and that is the color that it came up isn't that beautiful so I think when it's cold let me see you can see the color better like that I mean the light is washing it out but it is really pretty and you can see the glitter is really nice too anyway so that will conclude this demo if you're interested in the Laguna Moon little mini lamp it is great for traveling I will leave that link in the description area as well along with the whoops I almost forgot to kept this again along with the base and top coat for Laguna Moon and also the the polish and you can see it is I probably could put more coats on it to make it darker but I went for the instructions with two two coats so that's how it came out I just wanted to quickly add that during the time that I was using the lamp you notice the light turned red meaning it did discharge a bit so it's a good thing that I had it plugged in so I just wanted to make note of that I finished my entire hand and I wanted to show you what it looks like and that is how pretty it looks isn't it gorgeous oh my goodness I love it beautiful alrighty thanks everybody for watching I appreciate your time make sure and check out the links in the description area and I will see you all in my next video